him as the Soy Wojak. I win. Soy Jack. Anyone who's spent a fair amount of time on the internet in the past couple of years has likely seen countless variations of this balding, stubble-covered face with a mouth open wide in thousands of memes. While Soyjack's nemesis, the Chad, is a character designed to represent the pinnacle of what it means to be an alpha male, Soyjack represents a whiny, annoying, and mediocre figure that nobody wants to be associated with. Our Chad and Soy Jack in the room with us right now. Let's delve into the history of how this character transformed from a simplistic representation of the so-called new male into a near ubiquitous ad hominem that commonly appears across the entire internet. While it may feel much older, Soy Jack's history doesn't actually go back that far. The signature facial expression was originally called the new male smile. On 4chan, the term new male was used to describe men who were seen as severely lacking masculine traits. The term had been used since 2015, but was largely replaced by the term soy boy, which was coined in 2017, out of speculation that consuming soy products feminizes men due to the presence of compounds known as phytoestrogens. On October 24, 2017, a thread titled The New Male Open Mouth was submitted to the poll board on 4chan, with the original poster describing a facial expression that new males, or soy boys, were always making when taking photographs. It was a look of faux surprise that, like the duck face, gained traction online with the rise of selfies, and it wasn't just 4chan who noticed. During this time, drawings of the new male smile began circulating on 4chan. They weren't soyjack but they were already conveying the idea that the character would later come to represent. Forgive me, Jenny Shaman! I'll reflect on my actions! Some internet historians consider the first Soyjack to be an illustration of Wojak in a Soylent cap while holding a bottle of the mill replacement. It was posted to 4chan in November 2017. However, many consider a drawing of Wojak and glasses making the infamous open mouth soy face to be the original Soyjack. It was posted by a Swedish user on December 30th, 2017. In the original image, Soyjack can't contain his excitement about the Nintendo Switch console, which along with Reddit, Soylent, Rick and Morty, Funko Pops, and Marvel movies, constitutes some of the defining interests of this beta male archetype, and of Soyjack by extension. The historic post by a Swedish Anon forever changed meme history as we know it. By January 2018, Multiple versions of the character were created and shared across 4chan, with Soyjack often appearing alongside Nintendo Switches and other favorite toys. The character achieved particular popularity on 4chan's QA board, which produced the overwhelming majority of Soyjack variations in 2019. But for Soyjack to truly come into the spotlight, he had to spread outside of 4chan. One of the earliest and most famous versions of Soyjack outside of 4chan popped up in May 2019 as iFunny set its sights on Reddit culture, mocking Redditors and their obsessions with memes like Big Chungus and actor Keanu Reeves, iFunny user Pizza Mozzarella posted a Soyjack based on Reddit's snoo mascot, captioned with a mocking expression, Reddit moment. This reaction image haunts cringy Reddit posts to this very day. But it was Wojak Comics and Yes Chad Comics that made Soyjack the iconic character it is today. Swojack started appearing in Yes Chad memes in November 2019, alongside Mommy Ethot, Daddy's Girl, Coomer, and other Wojak characters as a cringe antagonist to Chad. It took some more time for Swojack to truly enter the meme meta. In January 2020, Doomer Girl comics flooded the internet, soon followed by new Wojak comic formats like Dick Flattening and Printer Go Burr, and the internet was hungry for more. Soon, the format we know today as Soyjacks vs. Chads became the big breakthrough, both for Wojak comics and for Soyjack. It was Redditor Nietzsche Joke who on April 12, 2020, posted the first comic in which a masked Wojak, a crying Soyjack, and two Yes Chads first met each other. The format was originally used by fans of various franchises to make fun of themselves by laughing about how they still love their favorite shows and games despite their drawbacks. It took the format a couple of months to eventually drop its focus on spoilers, leaks, and franchises, and boil down to a simple formula. Things considered bad or cringy are not necessarily so, 
and staying true to yourself and liking what you like is the superior Chad-like approach. While Soyjack vs. Chad was big for Soyjack's advance on social media, it wasn't the only format to contribute. On 4chan's QA board, users were busy pumping out Soyjack after Soyjack, with many versions based on real-life people. For example, a Soyjack posted to the international board on November 2019 used the famous YouTuber Markiplier. Another is based on an image of Tony Soprano. All of them, however, preserve the traits that define the archetype. Glasses, a balding head, an open mouth, and usually unkempt stubble. On 4chan, as well as on Facebook, Soyjack remained ever the ultimate graphic representation of ad hominem fallacy, attacking the individual rather than their argument, in this case by making them unattractive, whiny, and associated with cringe. Many of these Soyjacks made it out of 4chan. In May 2020, a format known as Two Soyjacks Pointing arose. It was based on a photograph of two men pointing at a Beyond Fried Chicken poster. In August 2020, a format in which Soyjack shows his phone to the viewer gained popularity as a rather direct way of mocking anything and anyone the author of the meme considered cringy. At that time, a format known as Place Japan also gained traction, using two Soyjacks to demonstrate how virtually the same thing can cause different reactions depending on a single circumstance. But as it happens with many memes these days, months of overuse changed Soyjack as we know it and the meme has long since entered the era of post-irony. Today, more than one year after Soyjack conquered the meme world, drawing a person as Soyjack is as much a meme as Soyjack itself, while the act of unironically posting a Soyjack often constitutes cringe on its own. Two Soyjacks pointing, a format used to mock people just one year ago, has recently seen a revival, but not as a way of attacking people one does not agree with, but as a rather wholesome redraw and remake format. Some people even intentionally copied the expression and everyone loved it. And the Place Japan memes got a new twist as people started adding Robert Downey Jr. to it, turning mockery into wholesomeness. Soyjacks have become so ubiquitous and interwoven into internet culture that they feel like they've been around forever. It's no surprise that a 4chan user cooked up fake news that Adult Swim is producing a Soyjack cartoon for adults, with many believing the hoax. Like the Chad, Soyjack has submitted itself as one of the internet's most iconic symbols, and highlights just how adaptable the ever-enduring Wojak character is.